Hello everyone and today we have Camaro Home Intense from Pandora Sense. Now this is an alternate of the Dear Rome Intense and we've been getting a lot of requests to review this particular fragrance from the time uh, this video came out three weeks back which was of the Dark Door Intense from Mason Alhambra which was also an alternate of Dear Rome Intense. Now on this particular video we're going to try and find out how's the scent profile, how close it is to the OG what's the projection what's the performance and is this a better alt or is this a better alt of the geodome intense so that's what we're going to do in this particular video so we're going to get started straight away so you're watching the perfume experience my name is rodney let's get started right after this intro So welcome back and uh, the first things that you would notice is when you look at this presentation of this particular fragrance they've tried to do a very good job when it comes to the uh, copying of the OG right so the bottle colors are similar the color combinations of the cap and all of that is similar the juice color also is pretty similar now the only thing is this is a very straight uh, bottle whereas here there is a little bit of that curve and all of that but otherwise the cap is a little flimsy but aside to that the bottle is very well done a very good looking bottle and very comfortable to hold the you know corners are all well molded and you know very well done that way when you compare it especially with this where there is a lot of sharp edges when you compare to that this is a much more refined bottle and when you even when you look at the atomizer okay so let's do a couple of sprays and you will see that this is really really nice let's do a couple of more sprays because this is a nice scent right now this is a very nicely done alt in terms of presentation now when you think about the scent profile of this particular fragrance when you compare it with the og that you have now in the og's case the uh, fragrance is very very nicely done and uh, you know it's a very beautiful fragrance when you look at the notes per se this is more of a lavender uh, iris it's got a little bit of that uh, amrit it's got cedar it's got a little bit of vetiver and all of those and that's the kind of scent profile on this particular fragrance you're mostly getting a very lavender violet iris powdery uh, that kind of beautiful scent profile which is you know very very unique and one of the most loud fragrances of all time now when you think about the scent profile on this one the uh, scent profile is done pretty well although there are slight changes in the opening the opening is not exactly the same as this one but after a few minutes the lavender and the you know iris part of it is captured very well on this particular fragrance and there it really becomes something very very nice and uh, it continues to be on the og part in terms of the scent profile and you will get a very nice bubble around you the performance is pretty good as well you get about one to two feet of performance and uh, you know on the projection uh, it's not a very loud fragrance it's a very uh, you know mild bubbly kind of a fragrance so one to two feet is something that you will get in terms of lasting is something that this particular fragrance does really really well on my skin i was easily able to get about six hours to seven hours and on apparel easily about eight to nine hours easy now when you do about uh, you know eight sprays or so because you need that many sprays on this particular one because like i said it's not a very beast mode kind of a fragrance so for it to be loud you need to go about at least eight to ten sprays and you'll really enjoy the fragrance once you start uh, giving it a 15 to 20 minutes you know uh, initiation part of it as such after the first 20 minutes time it really goes nicely very very well done uh, fragrance in my opinion now where it really changes when it comes to dark tour intense or when you compare between the two what are the major changes that you would see is that when i reviewed this particular fragrance you would have noticed that the scent profile on this is very good the uh, presentation is good everything is good about this particular fragrance but the one element that was missing on this one was everything about this particular fragrance was very light when it compared to the og while the og is very pronounced about its uh, you know lavender iris and all of those notes this one wasn't this was very light compared to that now that is the part that you know pandora scent has captured really well so the performance on this particular fragrance is really good this is not a soft scent as dark door that is as good as the og or slightly better also i would say in terms of the way this particular fragrance projects okay so that way overall i would say it's a very nicely done fragrance especially because of that loudness that it brings in the fragrance this makes up for a very comforting fragrance right now this second element that uh, you know this particular fragrance does really really well is the price point now this uh, uh, you know bottle comes at about 1400 rupees you know uh, brand new with the exclusive scent this comes to about 1200 rupees so you know from price factor this is much a uh, couple of hundreds lesser than this the third element that really does work well is the performance because this one will do about four to five hours on you know apparel as well 
This one will do a little more than that, close to about six to seven hours. And on apparel, it does even eight to nine hours. Uh, on apparel skin, it does about seven hours. So on those three fronts, I really feel this particular fragrance does extremely better than you know Mason Alhambra's Dark Door Intense. And if you've been looking for an alternate of uh, Diorum Intense from a Middle Eastern house point of view, hands down you can kind of you know go for this because it ticks all the right boxes. Uh, in terms of the closeness, I would say this is about a 90% close to the OG. This might be maybe about 1 or 2%, a little more than that, okay? But what it lacks, it presents itself in the performance, the projection, the loudness, and the uh, quality of the fragrance is something that you will absolutely enjoy. That iris note, that lavender note, the ambrate, the vetiver, and all of those elements coming together makes it for a really, really beautiful fragrance. That sadar note is really something very nice as well. So on that front, in all of its fronts, uh, you know, it does tick most of the boxes, right? So you really can consider a very good alternative of Jerome Intense. So that was my very quick review about to let you know between the Dark Door Intense and Camaro Intense. As most of you had requested for, this is basically the difference. This is a lighter note of Diorum Intense. This is a little more amped up version of the juice. The projection is better. The performance is better. The price is much lesser, right? So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe and share your thoughts about what is next that you would like to watch. I would try and bring uh, Zimaya versus uh, Kamra very soon as well and working on a lot of other videos as well. So do subscribe, do share and let me know your favorite date night fragrances in this winter season. So on that note, you're watching the perfume experience. My name is Rodney. Take care until we see you next time. Bye now.